This is a slightly more extensive discussion of relations that are functions and those that are not. So all of these three problems I have written here are ordered pairs. I have them written though in a shape where uh, we have the, a machine, the thought of a machine where a number goes into the machine and numbers come out of the machine. The input, the numbers that go in are from the domain. So uh, this first one on the far left has four, nine, and zero. Those are in the domain group. And the range is the numbers that come out. So each of these has a domain and range. The first one is not even a function. The rule in built inside this little machine is whatever you input, I'm going to output something that when you multiply it by itself, it gives you the input. So if you input four, I'm going to output negative two and also positive two. Right away, we know that's now not a function because four will be matched up with two y values. So it's not a function. So when nine goes in, three and negative three come out because those can be multiplied by themselves to give nine. And zero goes in, zero comes out. So the first one is not a function. The second one, uh, it's hard to distinguish exactly what the rule is. You don't need to know the rule every time. We have three numbers going in, 2.7, 2.68, 2.9. Out's coming a three. This is a function. Each x has only one y partner. It's allowed to be the same y partner, but each one only maps to one number. There is a rule here. It's the rule that says round the input off to the whole number. So each of these is rounded. The third one on the far right, the uh, rule that I'm actually going to tell you in this one is that the rule in the machine is going to multiply the input by two. So if you put a three in, out comes a six. If you put a seven in, out comes a 14. We get a nice set of ordered pairs, three, six, seven, 14. We can show the mapping. Everything matches up. This is a function. So the middle one and the far right are both functions.